All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over carousel ads. Um, so the carousel ad format isn't uh, exactly new in Facebook, but it's definitely a good format that you should be running in all your campaigns. Uh, what I recommend doing is running carousel ads alongside regular ads, um, really using any ad format you can to your advantage because Facebook's automatically going to optimize the best performing ads. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're in Power Editor right now in Facebook. Um, we have our ad screen open here um, we're in our main campaign screen here <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this golf traffic campaign we have it's not an actual active campaign we're running but I just want to show you um, how we would set up carousel ads for it so we're gonna click on our golf traffic ad or ad campaign come in here to ads so we have one golf ad here already um, so it's just a regular standalone ad it's not a carousel ad so what we're gonna do is just duplicate this ad you could also just click create ad here either way or we could just edit this one um, but either way you just want to create a new ad in your campaign <clears throat> um, if you need help creating campaigns we have some tutorials on our profile for that um, so now we're into the ad section so what we're gonna do is click on duplicate here um, just number of copy just one and click on duplicate okay so now we have our golf ad one copy um, so what I'm going to do is golf carousel ad. Okay, just pretend I have a golf page here. I'm obviously just going to pretend like I'm running it from my Surfside PPC page. Um, and here's kind of where you're changing everything here. So you're doing create ad. So you could do ad with an image or a video. Um, or you could do ad with multiple images or videos in a carousel format. So that's what we want to do here. Um, do multiple images in a carousel format. You could also run multiple videos in a carousel format. Um, that's something we can show you uh, in the future. Um, so you can you can add a full screen canvas if you want. We're not going to do that. Um, your top text is here, so it's going to say we provide provide award winning golf lessons. So I don't want to have that. That was what my old ad copy was. So what I'm going to do is okay. So we'll pretend we're running a Christmas sale here. Um, obviously, it's not real. Um, so it's just going to be Christmas sale. Save on your golf clubs this holiday season. Okay. So now destination uh, we're going to do website URL, but it's not going to be anything yet. Um, so what we're going to do here is now, now we're in the cards section. So this is really where you're creating your carousel. Uh, so for each one of these, one, two, and three uh, is going to match this right here. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and then it's automatically going to add a profile picture at the end. Um, you could choose that if you want. We definitely recommend doing that. Uh, we're going to add two more carousels here, um, two more ads. You could you could just keep going. I'm not sure what they have the limit set at now. I know they used to have it at five, um, but you can add a ton of these or remove them. Um, so we're going to have five here. Uh, so we're going to start with the first one. These two check boxes right here are important. So this one says automatically show the best performing cards first. So if you're tracking conversions, you absolutely want to automatically show the best performing cards first because we're going to upload five ads if ad four, for example, is performing the best um, and it's not being seen as much as ad one and two. Uh, you definitely want Facebook to automatically show that one more often since it's more valuable than one and two are. Uh, so definitely do automatically show the best performing cards first. And then here, add a card at the end with your page profile picture. Uh, this is just what we showed you here um, at the end. So right here, see more at surfsideppc.com. So definitely do that because as people go through, maybe they don't click on any of your links, but they come here and just say, okay, let me just see more. Um, all right, so now we're gonna do cards. Uh, you could do cards from your previous ads, uh, but we're gonna select new images and upload them now. Okay, so we have our five images uploaded here. We just upload all of them. We have a golf driver, an iron set, a putter, uh, golf shoes, and golf bags. Um, so each one is 1080 by 1080. Um, so that's the recommended ad size for uh, cards, uh, the carousel format, what you're creating. Uh, so we're going to start with our driver here and then just click confirm. So you see the picture changes now. It's going to change uh, for this first picture here. Um, and now everything you do for each card, you're going to have to do under, you know, underneath it. So it's going to be the image here. So it's a golf driver. And then your destination URL is actually going to be different for each card if you want it to be. Uh, we're going to do that. So here's how I'm going to show it to you. Open the Google URL builder. Um, you can see the URL up here. Otherwise, if you just go to Google and search Google URL builder. Uh, so now what we're going to do is let's pretend, you know, this isn't my website, Golf Galaxy. It's a really good website. Um, so if you need golf clubs, obviously go there. Uh, we're not associated with them whatsoever. Um, I'm just using them as an example because it works out well for this tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this drivers page here. Um, so we have it already in our Google URL builder. Um, so our campaign source is going to be Facebook. Campaign medium is going to be cost per click CPC here. Um, campaign name is going to be our golf Christmas sale. So let's just assume we're running this for Christmas. It's December right now, so I figure it's a good time to uh, pretend like we're running a golf campaign. 
our campaign term, so this is whatever you're targeting, so we're going to be targeting golf interests in our campaign. You obviously want to upload multiple ad sets and try different targeting out. Um, and then campaign content. So this is going to be able to, you can tell where each click comes from, so I'm going to do driver's ad, and then for the next one I'm going to do iron sets ad, so different things like that. So this is how you're really going to be able to tell uh, which ad things are coming from, so which sp specific cars. So this is driver's, you know, when we upload iron sets, it's going to be here. Um, so depending on the card people click, it'll actually track that separately. So that's why you want to do that. So we're going to come to copy URL here, come back to Power Editor, um, and destination URL is going to be this um, URL here with the tracking all here. So now it's going to go into Google Analytics. Um, you'll be able to track your campaign. You'll be able to track your results a little bit easier. Um, so for headline, what we could do is, you know, drivers for sale. We'll keep this pretty simple, you know. All right, and then in description, we'll just do get a new driver exclamation point so they don't give you a ton of uh, characters for the description um, but you can just keep writing on and they'll just do like dot 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 so if I do get a new driver this year um, it actually comes out pretty cleanly like the way they do it so well, sh they're showing it all here so it's probably not going to show in every ad format so you don't want to show a uh, you know, on a real ad, it's going to be like get a new driver dot, you know, th dot dot dot. So what we're going to do is just get a new driver with an exclamation point. Okay, and then see more URL. So this is basically like your display URL. So what what I usually do is I just take my URL, like I would take my URL here. Obviously, we don't own Golf Galaxy, but see more URL would be uh, Golf Galaxy, and then see more display link. I would do the same thing. And now call to action. So this is important. Whatever you're Whatever you're basically trying to promote, you want your call to action to match. So contact us obviously wouldn't make sense. Book now doesn't make sense. Really none of these make sense uh, besides shop now. Um, maybe you could do learn more. Um, but I definitely like shop now if you're doing something for e-commerce. So now we have our first card completely set up. Drivers for sale. Got a new driver. You know, pretty clean ad. It's just a, a big white background with a big driver there. Uh, highly recommend creating visual ads as visual as possible. Um, so if you have good images, that's where your Facebook ads are going to work the best. So now we're going to do is come to card two. Um, so we're going to select image. We're going to go through this a little bit quicker here. So our next one's going to be iron sets. So we have our iron sets ad here. Um, so now coming over to our URL builder, Google URL builder, our driver's ad is now going to be changed to iron sets ad. So it changes down here. You can see copy URL, come back to power editor. And we're going to change our destination URL. Uh, so now it's iron sets. So it, we're just going to keep this the same iron sets for sale. Get a new iron set. Okay, so shop now, see more URL, display URL, all good. So now we have our second ad set up. So now let's keep going over. Uh, so now let's come to number three. So this is basically what you want to keep doing is just keep uploading these. Um, the best practice here is to you know, upload different types of images, to up upload different carousel ads. So maybe I have a putter like this. Maybe I have one like a putter that's actually being shown someone using it. You know, maybe you have someone in a backswing for a driver or iron set instead of just doing pictures like this. Um, so basically, you just want to keep testing out different things you can do. Um, so let's come here. We have our golf putter. I'm going to upload the last two images real quick. So putter, it's going to go shoes, and then number five is going to be golf bag. And again, these images are going to change based on the results, um, and you'll be able to see results better too in uh, Google Analytics, so you can see where you know traffic is coming from, where people are buying. So let's go back to three. We're on putter now. Um, so again, we want to change our URL here to putter ad, copy URL, come back to Power Editor, and change this. So now it's going to be putters for sale get a new putter okay so that's all gonna be good here shop now okay so now we have golf shoes so now let's come to our campaign URL oh I haven't been changing golf driver so I've actually been messing this up good lesson here uh, so always double check your URL so now we have iron sets so what I want to do is come into golf galaxy make sure I have the iron sets Copy that here. Make sure your website URL is correct. I obviously didn't use the right website URL initially, so we're going to do Iron Sets Ad. Copy URL. This is why you always, always, always double, triple check your URLs. Um, so I would have been sending Iron Sets to the Golf Drivers page, and then if I never knew, you know, where my traffic is going, that's something else you can track in Google Analytics too. I usually look at my uh, destination URLs just in case anything's messed up. When you're creating huge campaigns, it can be a 
you know, a big issue sometimes. So we have iron sets here now is correct for number two. Number three, we want to make sure that we change putter, uh, you know, from drivers to putter. So we, what we could do is just take this URL, come up to Power Editor, and just change right from drivers and just put in putters. So now we have putters. Um, we can see putter add down here, so it's all good. Um, let's come to number four, so golf shoes. We haven't done that one yet. So now let's come to golf shoes, change it in the Google URL builder. So again, good uh, good lesson here. I'm actually uh, happy that I messed that up a little bit. So it's you definitely want to double check everything. Golf shoes add, copy URL. Okay, so now destination URL is going to be correct. So now we'll do golf shoes for sale. Get new golf shoes. Okay, URLs look good, shop now. So now we'll do the last one, send the golf bags. So we want to come up here to the URL again. Uh, so we're on golf bags here. Uh, so you can see bags, golf bags. So we'll copy this, come back to our campaign URL. So now golfgalaxy.com, golf bags, and we'll do golf bags ad. So now what you want to do after, so this is our last ad we're setting up, or card, I guess, for the specific ad, um, our destination URL. So now. I just always go through real quick. So we have golf bags and our content is golf bags ad, golf shoes, golf shoes ad, golf putters, putter ad, golf drivers. Oh, so we don't have it right here at the iron sets. So we're going to come back. Here we go. Men golf irons. And we're going to make sure we're sending them to the right URL. Okay. So men's golf irons for number two now. And we have iron sets ad and drivers for the driver ad. So now we have all the correct URLs. Um, if you want to go through this real quick, just to make sure all your ad copy looks good. So we have drivers for sale, get a new driver. Iron sets for sale, get a new iron set. Putters for sale, get a new putter. Okay, so we don't have shoes set up yet. Golf shoes. The one thing you want to do is make sure you let it load when you're updating it. So that's an, a mistake I make sometimes is you make changes and then you keep switching to different cards and they don't actually save. Um, so now we should be good here with golf shoes. So wait till this kind of loads. So now we're good. All right, so the last thing will be golf bags for sale. So let's go through this again here. Uh, so we have our ad Christmas sale, save on your golf clubs this holiday season. Um, so you definitely want to have an ad copy up here that's a little bit more urgent than mine. Um, so maybe you do limited time. If you have a specific thing, you know, you could do save 20%, something like that. Um, so you definitely want to entice people with your ad. So the better your ad copy is, the more likely they are to click and go in and buy. Um, so we have our five cards here set up. So we have driver. Uh, we're going to the correct landing page. We have good tracking set up. So putters for sale, golf shoes for sale, golf bags for sale. And then if you know people don't click on any of that, we'll have a card at the end. Uh, obviously, we would want one that's golf related. Now, last but not least, right now we don't have the fix Facebook pixel tracking everything. Um, so you definitely want to use the Facebook pixel to track everything. And with our for, uh, Facebook pixel, what you would want to do ideally is if I own Golf Galaxy, I would have you know tracking set up for when people add to cart, for when people you know, enter their payment information for when people actually buy something. Uh, when people look at, you know, multiple pages or visit my website for five minutes, you can set up all sorts of different conversions. Um, I would definitely do sales and maybe add to cart, um, but you'd probably want to optimize for sales depending on your budget. So that's pretty much it. Now, our ad is pretty much all ready to go. If we close this, see if, uh, okay, so our end date is in the past, so that's our issue right now. So, so we're coming to our ad set for that campaign. Um, so right now it's probably going to have, yeah, so we ended in almost a year ago. Uh, so just set it in the future, and then you should be good. So we'll set this to January 4th. Okay, now we'll come back to our ad. All right, so now we don't have any issues here, so we're going to click on Review Draft Items. And when, once we do that, we're going to post our ad right to Facebook. All right, so this ad one, obviously, a little old, don't want to have that one. So Golf Carousel ad here, so now we have it all set up. And what I usually do is, you know, just in case I come in one more time, I click on edit and I'll just kind of go through it one more time. Um, I know it's because you've seen the mistakes. You can also look at different ad formats. Uh, so in the mobile news feed, this is what it looks like. Obviously, people can swipe or they, you know, they swipe their finger to kind of swipe and see the different cards. Um, desktop news feed, it's pretty clean because you can see some of the different things that people have for sale. So, for example, if I'm a big golfer and I need a new putter, I come in here, I click on putters, I go to the putters page. Um, and, and it should be all good to go. Um, instant articles, you can see what it looks like, so people can swipe this as well. Um, and then desktop right column, they'll, they'll pick out a couple of your cards too. So pretty cool uh, feature here is carousel ads. You definitely want to have these added to your campaign. Uh, you could send traffic to different landing pages, track it separately, 
uh, you have a little bit of ad copy down here which each with each card um, so you definitely just want to do you know a quick little headline entice people and then the description I like to use some type of call to action you know shop for a new driver or something like that um, so these are carousel ads if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments thanks for joining us today and make sure you subscribe to our channel